the owner started the, this halal cart like in 2001 or 2000, like 18 years ago. And he started like selling chicken and rice and lamb and everything. And then, then things, things got like better step by step. We enjoy selling food over here. We enjoy being with the customers. Most of them are students. And we have like construction workers, taxi drivers, people from the DOT, Department of Transportation, this building. But most of them are students, yeah. Even though sometimes it's very busy and you wait like for 10, 15 minutes in the line, but you're making sure you're getting good food. We, we like the customers, the customers like us. That's why we're saying here we have no other, other location in New York City. It's the only, the only truck. And uh, we enjoy, enjoy uh, selling food over here. I get lamb over spicy rice, white sauce, hot sauce, no salad, and I get a Sprite. Uh, I've been eating halal since 10th grade. I like it. It represents the very opposite of the cooking I eat at home. It has lots of seasoning, lots of flavor, and I thoroughly enjoy having that culinary experience when I come to here to bar. It's like that taste, bro. Satisfying. I mean, it's partly a culinary experience, it's partly a social experience. You know, I never eat alone, I eat with other people. And it's also the way they mix the flavors, you know, it represents an, an interesting culinary melting pot, if you will, you know, different cultures, different spices. I usually eat it with friends oh, in school. Like, I don't even get halal outside of school, to be honest. I'll eat with anyone. Anyone who enjoys halal food is my friend. And it's a great deal, too. Five bucks gets you a, a meal and a drink. That's better than you can find in Manhattan, I'll tell you that. Well, a lot of Manhattan halal is, it's yuppie halal, you know, it's, it's overpriced, it's not as good, it's just better out here, you know. I say I was up when I get the food because they know me because I go there all the time, but I think we farther than that. Personally, I know like 70%, 80% of the customers and what they eat, what's their sauce, what's their soda, because they come here like every day. <laughs> 